welcome back to this course and we are going to be building uh, a to do app with flask we have learned the basis of the database and the basis of communication with the database so we are ready to build a very simple application we to do a to do app with our flask so first thing is just create a new workspace to do app and we are going to set up everything that is needed for the app just open a new terminal and the first thing we have to do the first thing we have to do is to create our virtual environment and create a virtual environment with the following command Python dash n then and this last one is the name of the virtual environment. You can use any name of your choice, you can use your own name, just any name of choice. And remember, depending on the OS you are, if you're not using Windows, if you're using Linux or Mac, you have to use Python 3. Alright, let's move on. The next thing we have to do is to activate the virtual environment and let's go to git bash. Yeah, we're working with git bash. So to activate virtual environment, we have to env slash scripts, then activate. Now you can see this here. That means the virtual environment is activated. After activating the virtual environment, we need to restore the things we need, the tools that we need. The first thing is class pip install flask. The next thing after flask is pip install. You can install cycle pg2. Remember, if you're on Linux, it is cycle pg2 binary. So we install cycle pg2 also. Then the next one we also install flask SQL alchemy. So after installing Flask SQL Alchemy, the next thing we have to install is Flask Migrate. So after installing that, let's just check the pip to see all the things we have installed. Using pip free, then we can see here, we can see Flask, Flask Migrate, Flask SQL Alchemy, Cycle PG2 SQL Alchemy. So I think we should be good to go. In this video, we're just going to cover the MVC pattern and the meaning of MVC is model, view, and controller. Now, I'm going to explain what it is. The model is like the structure of the database, the database table, the database types, and everything that defines the context of our database is the model. The view, which stands for the V, is just the display the templates that we're going to have on our web page and uh, the controller is basically just the routing and the endpoints for our api here we control our app like in the previous video where we had the where we had an app that route then it will return hello name yeah that's the controller so the mvc pattern helps us to manage this these features separately instead of having everything in just one file we can have them in different files so let's create a main file that will have the controller first touch up to file that is going to be created let's create the models file models.py models file with contain the model which will be the database structure and the next thing we have to do is create a folder for the templates we create a folder for the templates so inside the templates we are going to have let's just go inside there we are going to have our web page to display then in each we can create maybe index.html yes that's good 
Let's go out from there. Okay. So alright, the next thing we are going to do is open our app to buy. Then we can do a basic setup. Let's just have a basic setup. And the basic setup is to start with importing from Flask. Import. And before that, make sure the Python interpreter is the, the one you created. Is the Python is using the virtual environment that you created. Make sure that is what the VS Code is using. So make sure VS Code is using the Python virtual environment that you created. So here's how we get it. You see it here, EMD. Make sure that's what we're doing with. So from Python, import from Flask. I mean, from Flask, import Flask. Flask. The next thing we're going to do is from Plus SQL Alchemy import SQL Alchemy so that that to register our plus app app is equal to plus name double underscore double underscore name so after we register our app let's go to our model in this models so we are going to create the, the database structure in this model now I think okay just remove this line remove this line and bring it here okay, so that we can register our database in this model so we can have db is equal to sql alchemy This is equal to SQL Alchemy. Then we can create a class. Maybe class to do. Class to do. We have a class to do. DB dot model. Have the table name. The code to the table name should be to do. Then let's just have two description two columns here. The first one db dot colon. It will definitely be the ID. The ID is going to be an integer and you want it to be the primary key that will serve as a unique identifier for the code for the particular team. So the primary key should be set to true. So we can have the second column as description. The description will be the Explanation of the of the to do so db dot string. This is going to be a string and not not an integer. Description that's a little note of the action to be done. No label is equal to false. We don't want it to have any more value at all. So that's good. We can have another method right here. Our Donda method to return, and remember what the Donda method does is it gives us a, it helps us to create a structure so that when we print when we print out maybe a new to do that we created an instance of the to do we have a structure in which the print statement will return for us so we can have to do self dot id 
detail dot description. All right, let's pause here for now. Now what we are going to do is now we're going to import from models because we have created a model. So from models, let's import something. I'm going to import the DB, which is this, which is this that we see here. This is DB. We are going to import the DB and also to do, which is the class that we created to do. So that's we are making the app, the different files work together. So so that the next thing we can go to our templates and check our HTML file. Now in this HTML file, we can just bring in any regular HTML file. So just write DOC on your VS code. It's going to bring up a regular page. Just give it a title maybe. And just give it a title, say, to do up. To do up. And then have something in the body. Hey there, I'm using Flask. Okay, let's go back to our app and let's see how we can actually display the web page. Let's see how we can display the web page. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a route. We're going to create a route. We are not dealing with the database yet, so mm -hmm. we can still hold on. We can still hold on with that. So let's just create the database. We have app. app. Let's just create the web page and let's try to launch it. App to cloud. Let's make it the index page. So you can see this index and method and return. Return. There's a method called render template. The method called render template, we can pass in the name of the template, index.html. Okay. So, what we have to do is come back to fast render, import render template. And that will be set to. So, after that, just go to your terminal and put flask run run the command flask so after flask run you can just go to the link now we can see it is here hey there i am using flask now we have been able to set up the mbc pattern of building our web application and you can see here is the template the separate file here is the controller. This is the controller in charge of the routing and data passing. And here is the model file which is in charge of the data. So as we move on in the project, we're going to get more familiar with using the MVC pattern for web development.